was starting to get a little bit nervous and maybe a little bit sort of close to panicking. So I thought, well, the best thing I can do is I'll try and start singing some music. So because we didn't have any electricity, I couldn't use microphones or my keyboards or electric guitar. So I just used an acoustic guitar. And I started singing a few Beatles sing-alongs and having fun. And that worked for, you know, a while, 5, 10, 15 minutes. But people kept on saying in between songs, you know, what's happening? You know, I, I was thinking, well, why do we have to get off the ship in the middle of the night in such a bad storm? I was scared to do that. And I said, well, but why do we have to get off the ship? He said, no, it's just a precaution. We're going to abandon ship. We ran back up the stairs. I went and found the cruise director. And I said, listen, we've seen the watertight doors closed. We haven't seen the water. We can hear it. We're sinking. So we went into the lounge and thought, well, we need to try and start getting people off this ship. So we started organizing passengers and we went around to them in, in small groups and said, look, we're going to start to evacuate the ship. We're just going to do groups of 20 at a time. We were just making this up. I mean, I don't know where we came with that number. We said, we'll do 20 guests at a time. We'll take you out of the lounge and out to a lifeboat. We then went to launch the port side ones on the left-hand side, but the ship was so tipped over that the port side boats wouldn't go down. 